Today's draft idea is brought to you by none other than General Grievous. So for today's draft, we will be selecting players, well, I guess in the draft order. So if they got picked in the first round, we take them first, second round, second, all the way up to seventh. And then after seventh, uh, I don't think this is mentioned in the comment, but I'll do undrafted and then we reset back to first round. So this one's going to require a lot of the internet, I can imagine. I think someone was devastated that I didn't take the Jets. Was it the Jets? I'm going to say it was the Jets. So that's who we're going to pick today. We're going to be Winnipeg, all right? So that is the squad. And let's continue. And yeah, we got to go ahead and set up our fantasy draft settings here. So I don't want the coach to edit my lines. Stay away. Fog of War. No, thank you. Player morale. Yes, but I'll turn the meetings off. CPUs can trade all they want. Okay, continue. And I also saw a comment saying that, you know, they like the idea of me being able to trade for someone who fits the draft. So let's say I did an Eastern Teams draft at the trade deadline. If there's an East player there, then I could pick them up. If you guys are down for that, then yeah, we could do something like that. We could add that as part of the drafting videos. Which draft position will we get? Will we get number... What was it again? I'm trying to remember. That video will probably come out first, so I hope so anyway. Uh, seven? Or no, 11 maybe? I don't know. We Well, no, 14? No, it was Chicago. It was seven that won. And then I think it was LA at 14, maybe. I don't remember. Anyways, we got number 14. Artemi Panarin would be sick for an undrafted slot, but yeah, that's obviously not going to work. So we do have to go in order, and just because why not, I'm going to take John Carlson. Yep, there it is. $8 million. So now we are on to round number two for the next pick. I don't know. This this one's going to be difficult, I think. I don't mean this pick. I just mean this draft in general. It's going to be a lot of weeding through players. So to my surprise, Patrice Bergeron was actually taken in round number two. So there you go. That's our second pick. A solid one at that. I totally forgot they had this here. So I can just go base off of this, which is much better. So Latang, third rounder. He's the first one that came up. What about goalies, actually, though? Maybe we should take a goalie. Let's see if any goalies are in the third round. Um, not, oh, Ben Bishop and Freddie Anderson. But Ben Bishop, only making five million. I guess Anderson is too, but one overall better. Let's go ahead and take Ben Stiffer. Well, we have an eighth rounder. <laughs> I guess he's never getting selected because, you know, we're not really going to go for that. For some reason, I swear I saw the screen, saw Slavin, and... I, Fourth rounder, I have no idea. It was just a guess. I had no idea he was a fourth rounder, but I thought there was potential. And lo and behold, he is a fourth rounder. I just saw a seventh rounder. So Pavelski was taken in the seventh. Holy crap. And that was in 2000. I was about to say 2013. No, 2003. Wow. All right. Did I see that right? I, I guess so. He went in the same draft. Brent Burns went in the 2003 draft. Pavelski went in 2003. So did Bufflin. That is one... Heck of a draft. Jake Muzzin. We're getting a lot of defensemen here, but fifth rounder. Boom. There it is. And yeah, we have three defensemen, a goalie, and a center right now. Team's looking sick. Another defenseman. Spurgeon. Okay, I'm gonna... We need to look for a forward here. For real. Anders Lee. Sure, why not? You can be our first line left winger. Making a little too much for my liking, but you know what? Sometimes you don't always get what you want. I guess I'll just take Pavelski, honestly. I mean, seventh round, and he's a... Uh, Right winger slash center, another big contract, but I'm, I'm not too worried about it for this draft, honestly, because this one is going to be tough as it is. So we are actually, oh yeah, we are on undrafted, aren't we? Yeah, I guess so. I was about to say we are back to first round, but no, we are on undrafted. So let's see if, ooh, Zuccarello. We could take Zuccarello. Giordano's up there as well, but we kind of need forwards right now. When was... He was taking third. Okay, hopefully Brian Rust kind of chills around for a bit. But let's take Zook for now. Jordan Eberle was a first rounder in 2008. Another right winger there for us. I mean, yeah, that's that's a decent pick. And we do need a second line slash maybe even our first line right winger. I guess we'll find out which potential or, sorry, chemistry works out better. Bit of a random one here. But Justin Hall was taken in the second round 2010. And he can... Be another defenseman for us, so yeah. And he's also only making two million. Yeah, I know, I'm trying, I'm trying, okay? I am trying to stay within the cap again here. I just want to see if it's possible. Chara was a third rounder in my birth year. <laughs> Look at that. That is nuts. 
and that con i think we just have to like we pretty much have to martinez is a fourth rounder we could just basically have a stacked defensive core which yeah we clearly do so that is solid there's a lot of first rounders still up here holy smokes but yeah we are on round number five so that's gonna take some searching i can imagine but we might be able to find one kind of quick here. Andrew Shaw, 3.9 million, a little expensive, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Yep, there we go. A fifth rounder. So that is that. And now we are on round number six. I should maybe take a backup goalie kind of soon. We got Halak taken in the ninth round. You know, that's always an option. Laurent Brossois, sixth round in 2011. 81, 1 1.5, that's not bad at all. That's a good backup right there. Don't mind if I do. I'm actually just going to sort by forwards because we are already set for defense. We don't need any more. We really don't. Nikita Gusev. Yeah. I kind of remember that one. So that's a decent pickup, I would say, for sure. Boom. There it is. We are back to first overall. Well, not first overall. First rounders. Actually, no, we are not. We are on undrafted. I keep forgetting. So... Yeah, let's go to undrafted. Ooh, if Stull's still there, you better believe I'm picking him up next. Achari is undrafted, so yeah, let's go ahead and pick him up. Bozak was also undrafted, but 5 million, that's killer. Can't, I can't afford you. I really can't. I mean, I could, but I can't. You know what I'm saying? Eric Stull's still here. I just want to just double check again. Pretty sure second overall. Boom. Yeah, 2003. There is a very good center on a very good contract. Carl Soderberg, round number two in 2004. And yeah, 49th overall, two-way forward, and only $1 million. I don't know, that's not really an only fitting there, but in this situation, to scale, that, that's an only. Zach Smith, a grinder, he could be on the fourth line. 65 discipline, love that out of you. Uh, third round though, so sure. Why not? So our final pick will be a center who is taken in the fourth round. Casey Sezikis is definitely going to be a candidate and probably our pick. Um, yeah, it's, it's looking that way. All right, well, let's just go ahead and take Sezikis then. Fourth round, there you go. 92 overall. Um, yeah, so the player's 80 overall, taken. 92nd overall and 3 million, that is very fitting for our cap as well a two-way forward only three and a half defense but whatever it is what it is okay boom let me just double check but i'm pretty sure that is our draft complete yeah we are good to go so here's a very overview i guess sort of screen of our draft um yeah i think we're looking all right we might be a decent team might compete we will find out though yeah the battery on that camera is awful i'm gonna have to I'm going to have to find a way to plug that in. Unlike other drafts, there's no real way to kind of validate from the edit line screen. I'm just going to have to try to remember who I took. But I'm assuming that we shouldn't have any problems regardless. So let's just best lines it for now. Um, so far, it's looking familiar. Pretty sure these are all the forwards that I took. Defense. Oh, that's a rough go. Okay, well, anyway. Yeah, this looks like the team that I picked. And we are good, I think, but we are not good when it comes to chemistry. Oh boy, we got some work to do. All right, so the forward chemistry looks all right now. I'm down with that. And then defense, we definitely gotta have something sorted out here because that's just not gonna fly. Oh my word, we are in a pickle here. What did I do? Where did I go wrong? Two-way, two-way, maybe that's where I went wrong. They're pretty much all two ways, but anyway, that, you know, I don't think that should be too bad. Well, I don't know what to tell you. This is just not good. But I'll take dash one over the dash two they had before. And then if this doesn't really make a difference, then let's just bring Martinez up. All right, there you go. All right, so we are going to suck. Actually, I don't know. I, line chemistry has never really done much for me from what I've seen. So this is going to be the ultimate test. But I'm going to make a prediction right now. I am going to say... That, because Bergeron kind of surprised me last time. I'm going to say Bergeron gets the most points with 78. And I'm going to say the team gets 41 wins. Let the games begin. Let's start the simulation. And let's get through this season. Washington has already fired their coach. That was quick. All right, I don't, I don't get it. Our team is doing insane. If anyone ever tells me chemistry matters again, I'm just going to show them this. But also, now that I said that, 
we're gonna collapse miserably. I just know it. The boys are still buzzing. We're about to be at 30 wins already, which is very good. I think my prediction of 41 is going to be way off unless we have a complete meltdown, which is definitely a possibility. All right, my camera was about to go, so I had to plug it in. Um, yeah, that was a lot more work than I thought it was gonna be. But anyway, we're good now. So keep the current trading block. Let's um, enter the deadline, I suppose, so we can see who's available. For this draft, I don't think it really fits the situation to make trades, plus we're doing insane anyway, so yeah, but let's have a look here. So Spurgeon was a player we looked at, so was Freddy. Grubauer's there, we got Ranta. All right, so there is quite a few good players here for sure. I'm pretty sure Henrik Lundqvist was like a seventh round, and I'm, if I remember correctly, I think I made a video actually about interesting draft facts and... Joel Lundqvist, Henrik's brother, actually went before him in the draft. Um, but yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and get out of here. And be presented with my favorite screen in the whole game. Boom. You'll love to see it. Jared Spurgeon going back to mini in exchange for a first and a second. So there you go. There's the big trade that we are getting. For some reason, it only shows one usually. So I don't know why. Um, but that's just the way it is. So yeah, my prediction of 41 wins was a miserable one. We are getting much more than that. So if anyone sort of saw this coming, then good on you. I did not at all. I thought we were going to be mediocre at best, but we are definitely one of the better teams, if not the best team in the league right now. And there's definitely a good chance we are going to have 50 wins. We have, well, four games left and we lost both of them. We're not going to get it, are we? Because that's just the way it goes. Oh, we actually got it the last game of the season. We got number 50. So President's Trophy, no. I don't think anyway. And... Great season, yes. Let's check out the team stats here. So we didn't even win our division. In the Central, we came second behind Colorado there. Only one point, though. And then Anaheim got 111. They got the President's Columbus 108. So we were definitely up there. But, yeah, these teams just did a little bit better. I was going to say Columbus, but no, Anaheim did very well. 51 dubs. Good for them. Did the top 16 teams make it? It usually doesn't... Wow, number 18 and number 20. That is wild. They finished 20th in the league. And they have 86 points somehow made it in the playoffs. That is absurd. Anders Lee got the most points for us with 80. So good for you, Anders. That's insane. Where's Bergeron? He put up 60 and was a dash five. Oh, that's not good. That first line clearly did not work. But Everly Stahl, was this the second line? Everly Lee and Stahl? Maybe, actually. They were plus three. So yeah, they lit it up. And they were very much in the positive category when it comes to plus and minus. Let's go to the bottom here. Justin Hall, but he was a plus 26, so I really don't care if he got points or not. He wasn't out there for goals against and was out there for goals for, so that's all that matters. Bishop played very well, 46, 21, and 5, 9, 17, and Brassois did mediocre. Let's check out Anaheim. So Darcy Kemper, I feel like there's a common theme with him and doing well in these simulations. I don't know what it is, but maybe... Oh, did not mean to do that. Well, they had Matthews who put up 99 points. That's probably going to be... Art Ross worthy or very close to it. Tarasenko with 80, Taves 72. Wow, they have a really good team. Even Athenasiu put up 60 points. They have Jeff Petrie. They have a very solid team here for sure. And then, yeah, we saw their goalie was also very good in Darcy Kemper. Who was their backup? I didn't quite get a look. Oh, Montembeau, who also did okay. Not great, but still, you know, I guess that's sort of backup numbers. You'd probably expect a little bit more, but... It's okay. In the entire league, Ben Bishop put up 46 Ws, and he led the league by quite a bit. So thanks, Ben, for carrying our squad, I suppose. That's huge. Uh, let's check out the players now. I always press the wrong one. I don't know why. All skaters. Is it Matthews? No, it's not. Not even close. Drysaddle, 106, gets the Art Ross. Giroud got 101. Huberto, 100. All right, there you have it. Let's go do the playoffs. Will we win the cup? Probably not. Will we get first rounded? Probably. So we ended up with Chicago, the team that finished, I think it was 20th and made it in, which is ridiculous. But anyway, they're probably going to beat us. That's the way it works normally. Here we go. Round number one against Chicago. We're doing good so far. Nice. We're off to a hot start here. 2-0. Okay. Don't you dare. 3-1. Oh, no. Oh, man. I, I thought we were going to blow it. I really did. All right. We got Colorado here in round number two. Ooh, a hefty 8-2 win in game number one. And, okay, we're up 2-1, 2-2, 3-2, game 7, we pull it off, no way! We got the LA Kings now, oh boy, I 
really don't recall the last... Well, actually, I think it was somewhat recently we made it this far. What is going on? We're in the Stanley Cup Finals against the Penguins here. Oh, no. Don't get my hopes... Game 7? We did it! We actually won the cup! Are you kidding me? Wow, that is insane. Our top point guy was Bergeron with 21. And we still won the cup. I am so proud of this team right now. I guess we don't have to go check out the roster because we know the roster. It's ours. We won the cup. There it is. Nice. That doesn't happen very often, but when it does, it's great. Presidents to Anaheim and boom. There you have it. So let's go to the individual awards. We got Drysaddle with the Art Ross and the Hearts. Morgan Riley gets the Norris. Lady Bing goes to Mitch Marner. Lafreniere with the Calder. Eric Stahl with the Conn Smythe. Love to see it. Ben Bishop with the Vesna. Also love to see it. Kakonin. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Hopefully I'm close. Anyway, gets the Jennings. Uh, Gavrikov with the Bill Masterton. Del Monte, Del Mont with the Jack Adams. The Selkie goes to O'Reilly. Drysaddle gets the Ted Lindsay and the Rocket Richard. Great season for Drysaddle, clearly. And boom. Oh, we also made it to the Stanley Cup Finals. I didn't even realize that, but yeah, there you go. There's the playoff tree. Uh, guess that's it, guys. So draft ideas down there. I need them. So please, if you have any, go ahead and comment. Be sure to like each other's comments. And yeah, I hope you guys are doing great. I will see you soon.